sometimes it's our case that we are so easily irritated and easily explode. Or some friend of me reported, oh, my, my husband is like a bomb, and his temper, tem, temper is like that, his fam is, is always like that. And so I think that everything is impermanent, including our temper as a bomb. And if we can know, to be aware of, yeah, there's something raging, a kind of rage enter, start to, to stir my heart. And I've, I think that I'm about to scream or to shout and to explode. And then if I go back to my in-breath and out-breath, and but that agitation is still there in your mind. So you have to go back to your in-breath and out-breath. And you cannot just sit down. You have to make a walk outside and you walk and your mind is totally with the walking and calming, releasing, touching my stability, my peace, and you live only in the present moment. When you walk on the street, you only pay attention on the contact of your shoes and the, 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 the sidewalk, or you walk, there is a little flower on the sidewalk, you be, you are totally with the little flower on the sidewalk, or with the tree in front of you, but don't let your mind carry you away by that irritation, and then that is not take long. You you walk a few minutes, and then you go back, to, and then you you do the first part of stopping to be carried away by anger, by irritation. You stop, and you look deeper. Ah, that that is a big temper from my father, and he everything he he, he disagree. He shout, and I'm. And then it's make a wound in me, and then other wound, other wound is make, and then I try to suppress because I don't want to confront with the, the, the bomb in my father, and then so I'm more and more, and when I'm free, I explode my bomb, and so the way to to diffuse the bomb in myself, it means the anger in myself, this could be the transmission of the habit of my father who used to shout or the habit of my mother or my uncle, or I don't know, the person who are close to you and then you used to work with and to live with. And then you just say that, mm -hmm, hello uncle or hello dad. That is uh, your habit that have, I have received. I will not repeat the same because I have done and it's caused a lot of misery to myself and to people around me. So you stop the circle of suffering, that habit of exploding, at shouting without coming, and look deeper and explain thoroughly what you mean and what you and also without listening deeply what the other word, person means. So when you listen deeply, you speak calmly, and then you change the 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 the. The, the, the circle, in Buddhism we call the circle of samsara. It means samsara means the suffering, it's many rounds of suffering. Your father suffer because that bad habit and transmit to you and you transmit that bad habit and you do it and unconsciously it's transmit to your children and people around you and they, at the beginning they could be a very good person, they are even do not have any affinity of, um, of blood with you, but by working together with you and he's used to your explosion of anger like that, and he's suppressed and then slowly is entered in him and he can behave differently. So we stop by breathing, go back to your in-breath, calming, living in the present moment, cutting your mind to think in that direction of carrying you away from being peace, being and you say that it's always you always resolve everything in peace, in understanding, in love, in deep listening, understand, have deep communication, and after that we can do it. <coughs> but by doing so, you need to remember, go back to your in-breath and out-breath. And that is why in our practice, we propose that when you hear any big noise, like the telephone ring, try not to answer right away, Breathing in, calm yourself. Breathing out, relax.
calming, relaxing. And then you pick up the telephone. They will not stop right away. And so they ring about one or two. And then, so that is a training for you to stop in the time where you would not want to explode. And by doing so, you stop the circle of suffering, that bad habit transmitted to you from other generations.